Good morning, Macedonia. And to all of our friends and loved ones who come to share with us on another Lord's Day, let me just say it's good for us to be here on another day that the Lord has made. Amen? I want to say anybody just happy to be here this morning. Amen? I want to say anybody here just happy to be alive. Isn't it just wonderful to be alive? Can anybody just thank God for just giving you one more day? You know, he really didn't have to do it, but are you just happy that he gave you one more day? Truly, we're thankful and grateful to God for another day that he has given to all of us, and it is just a blessing for us to be here this day and to see all of you uh, looking so beautiful this morning and just lets me know that God is still in the blessing business. And for that, we're grateful. We give honor to God, to Jesus Christ, our Savior, to the Holy Spirit, our God, and to all of our ministers and their spouses and to all of you. Listen, there's some men back there that's just ready to make their way into this place. And listen, they handsome. And and let me tell you, they just just gonna come in their own way as we begin uh, to come in this order of worship. Listen, let let us welcome in the men of Macedonia. Come on, give them a hand as they come.
Come on, give him another hand. Amen. We're going to ask Brother Gary Ross if he would come at this time that he may introduce our master of ceremonies for this morning's worship. Amen. Give him a hand as he comes. What an awesome God we serve. Amen. 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 <clears throat> this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. To our pastor, Reverend Curry, <clears throat> our associate pastor, Reverend McKinney, to all the officers, to all our members. And to all of you who are God's children. Now, my task when I was asked to do this, I thought it was very simple. Introduce the master of ceremonies, right? Well, I received an email. It took about a half a day for it to all come through. So I'm like, well, is it anything that this man hadn't done? <clears throat> so we're going to dispense with all of his accolades and all of his achievements. Trust me, there are many. And the only thing I think he hadn't done is served on the mother's board at his church. <laughs> but I'm sure he's working on that. <clears throat> but he's, he's a friend. He's someone I met in high school. I'm not going to tell you all the things that happened that we did in high school because his wife is here. 
So I'm going to keep that. Uh, I've known him most of my life. Uh, he's always been a well-grounded young man. Even when we were teenagers, and I will admit I was wild, but he was grounded. And he kept most of us in the crew grounded. And uh, thank you for that. He's a family man. Uh, high school sweetheart sits next to him. Active civic leader. Active church leader. Most of all, a real man of God. So I introduce to some, I present to others, Harvey Buchanan. Amen. Good morning, Macedonia. God is good. And all the time, we're so happy and thankful to be here because. Any time I get the opportunity to stand before God's people, I am blessed, I am privileged, and I am proud. To Pastor Kerry, other ministers, this is Men Day, the annual Men Day of Macedonia Missionary Baptist Church. I won't prolong your program because we want the men to show up and show out yeah. in the name of the Lord. Yeah. I know that your theme this morning is the most humble theme. Your theme this morning and throughout today states, happy is the man who finds wisdom and understanding. Proverbs 3, chapter 4 through 6, wisdom comes from God. And we're so proud that you have men who seek it wisdom. Amen? Thank you, Brother Gary. I'm glad you didn't tell it all. We have devotion led by Reverend Nikasey Mahomes. Is he present? Nikasey Mahomes. If not, we call on Brother Henry Cole after which we have the morning hymn, Glory to His Name, by the congregation. It'll be favored with a selection by the Macedonia Male Chorus. Amen. Good morning, Macedonia. To all God's people, this is another beautiful day, but let us remember it's the Lord's Day. The Lord's Day to take presence over anything in this world because everything we have belongs to God. Our devotion this morning will come from the book of Psalms, first book, first number one through four. Psalms one, one through four. Blessed is the man who walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stand in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth its fruit in its season, whose leaf also shall not wither, and whatever he does he shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but like the shaft which the wind driveth away. God's word for God's people. May we pray. Father, we come this morning in the most humblest way we know. Father, we come, thank you for another day that you blessed us. Heavenly Father, you didn't have to do it, but God, we know who you are and what you can do, Heavenly Father. Father, we hadn't been perfect or upright or good all our life. But we got a Savior that looks up on us, your weak and humble servant. 
and you have mercy on our soul. Father, we thank you for blessing us one more time, Heavenly Father. Father, we thank you for blessing this church and blessing your people, Heavenly Father. Because, God, we don't deserve it. But, God, we know you are awesome, God. Father, we went through hurt, harm, and danger. But, God, you kept your loving arm around us. Heavenly Father, we don't deserve to be here because we was caught up in the devil one time. But, God, you didn't give up on us. You kept us in your bosom, Heavenly Father. Father, you gave us thousands of chances. And sometimes, Lord, we don't even know what we get. But, God, we thank you for being such a good God. God, we thank you for blessing this church and blessing your people, Heavenly Father. Father, we thank you for blessing the pastor who you put in to lead us, Heavenly Father. Father, not only him, but your shepherds, your sheep here, Heavenly Father. We thank you, God, for letting us hear the word that he brings, Heavenly Father. We thank you for the word he's going to bring this morning, Heavenly Father. Because, God, we know you're able. Father, we actually look for my brother and sister in Christ here this morning, Heavenly Father, and continue to bless them. But not only them, Heavenly Father, look upon those sinners, those that are homeless, and those that don't know you this morning, Lord. Because, Lord, they need, they need you too this morning, Heavenly Father. Father, somebody went in the hospital this morning, didn't come out last night. Father, somebody don't know where they are today. But, God, you're such a good God. And, God, we thank you for this service, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord, for what you're able to do, Heavenly Father. Because, God, we know you're able to do the impossible. We got know, God, you can make a way out of no way. God, we know you can turn the wrong to the right. And, Father, you can look.